At 29 years of age, the Brazilian Bruno Rezende is considered one of the best volleyball players in the world. World champion, world league winner, there's only one title missing, Olympic gold. And in a country still licking its wounds after the national team's performance in the 2014 Soccer World Cup, these Olympics will have added value for the home fans. Bruno knows that, and he's experiencing it. In Brazil, the soccer is a religion. In the Olympic Games, I think the volleyball is the most important uh, sport. Uh, we saw that uh, all the tickets are sold out from, for the volleyball, men's, women's, beach volleyball, and the expectations are really, really high for, for everyone. The people, the fans, they have to be the, the seventh player for us, and not to, to keep this uh, more pressure in our, in our backs. But there is pressure on the national team, and there has been for some while. Born into a high-level volleyball family, he's always had to prove that his presence was not just nepotism. Because the national coach is his father. I, with 19 years old, I have been uh, convocated to, to the first time to the national team. And my father was the coach, so in the beginning the people didn't know me uh, as well and then they said but he is there because of his father or he's there because uh, he deserved that i really think that i i, I made all the, the difficulties and i made the practice twice uh, than the others to to prove that for for the people and bruno's looking for revenge in beijing in 2008 the brazilians lost the final to the usa in 2012 brazil failed in the final again three sets to two against russia having led 2-0 bruno didn't play a lot in 2008 but in london he was a major part of the journey to the final 2008 uh, it was a, a generation that won everything the team was was really good but we in that moment we played against uh, a team that was in a magical moment like uh, the United States. And 2012, after the third set, we lost our mind, we lost our concentration, our focus, and they, they were better than us in the mental, the mental concentration. Sometimes I, I still think in that match, but I think um, all the things that uh, uh, happen with you, you have to try to, to move forward and try to take that from like an example. Did you see that? Always with my counter in my heart. <laughs> In 2011, before the Olympics in London, Bruno spent two months in Modena, in Italy. With the silver medal around his neck, he went back to Modena in September 2014 to prepare for his new Olympic the challenge. The is, uh, is the highest in the world. The level is the, is the most important thing to a player uh, before an Olympic game. So here in Italy, we have uh, all the matches uh, difficult. You have to be concentrated in all the matches. So, uh, for me and uh, for my partner Luca that is playing here too, it's very important to keep this, uh, this level high all the match to, to be prepared for, for these Olympic Games. In Italy, he does play alongside his teammate Luca Stadkamp. They've been together in the Brazilian national team now for more than 10 years. I think Bruno is one of the fairest people I know. He's not only focused on himself, but really cares about the team. He has a real grasp on what it means to be a leader, and he wants to be that great leader. He wants to guide his team and lead them to victory. He's a natural leader. Well, in Rio, Bruno will play his third Olympic Games, surrounded by his family, his friends and his fans. The dream of uh, an athlete is to play an Olympic Games. 
to play at home, it's like, it's, uh, it's the, the best thing in the world. And maybe took a gold medal is the, I don't know, I can, I can stop to play after that. Yes, Bruno's ultimate dream is to win the gold. A gold medal Brazil haven't won since the Games in Athens 12 years ago. 21st of August, 2016. It's a date already forefront in his calendar.